books are like movies waiting for a camera to film them. And filmmaker Daika Pariachi has found endless inspiration in the comics and movies that have been his lifelong inspiration. His work has received favorable attention on the local film scene, so we decided to find out more about Daika's background story in words and pictures. Durban filmmakers are surging onto the South African movie scene, and Daika Karpadiachi is one of the rising talents who are riding this new wave. A student of the internationally acclaimed cartoonist and illustrator Nanda Subin, Dayakar studied fine art animation before embarking on his first movie project. This took the form of a short film to introduce his homegrown superhero. And while the concept didn't attract any commercial interest at the time, it did pave the way for Dayakar's participation in the 48-hour film project in 2014. And he's since gone on to complete his most recent project, Shadow. Once again, using the short film format, this movie explores the haunting effects of rejection and depression and the problems faced by young people in dysfunctional families. Daika Padiachi has most recently been nominated for a SAFTA award for his film Shadow. I am so excited to be catching up with the filmmaker today and hearing what he's up to. Krusha. Daika, how are you? Welcome, please come in. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Daika, congratulations on your SAFTA nomination. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot. That was a very strange surprise for us because we didn't expect to be nominated for the SAFTA at all. How has this changed your career? Well, it's opened a lot more doors. Like my recent production, Saloon, I'm actually working with Simon Ratcliffe, who we met at the SAFTA. To work with somebody of that Great scale is quite interesting. So tell us about the theme of Shadow. It de deals with depression, teen suicide, homosexuality, family dysfunctions. And it was basically about this young kid named Tyrone Sharma, played by Taz Maypale. He plays a shy teenage school student who is completely out of the closet, but he's also dealing with the fact that his family doesn't really care much about him. And on the sideline, there's a suicide that happened in the area and there's this ghost or shadow of a man who's now haunting this kid. I can see that you're a big superhero fan. <laughs> yes, I can see your Batman necklace. Did that have any influence on the script writing of the film? Funny enough, the title in itself is based on an old 1984 superhero film called The Shadow, which starred Alec Baldwin. And it was one of my favorites, Carl Jung. He sort of talks about depression, the, the things that we carry, you know, the psychology of shadows. You mentioned you were working on something new. Yeah, I'm working on a sort of western noir gangster flick called Saloon. I'm actually working on the promo at the moment, if you want to come see. Great, let's go. Although his work has won him awards and praise, a passion for storytelling remains the prime driver in his career. And he is fascinated by mythology and the way it has influenced the horror and superhero genres. He sees the boogeyman as a device used to scare children into obeying adults. And the superhero is the child's inner friend in the struggle against the darker things in life. This is cool. It's where the magic happens, yeah. I suppose. Well, um, you can get to see a little bit of it here. Oh, yeah. promo. You're not being like it, are they? No more till the bones in my wings lay still. Yeah, that's it. Very cool. Well done. Thank you. So do you have any other passions? Apart from filmmaking, I love taking my dog Kubo for a walk. I like composing music. I've done a lot of the music for, for my films, like Shadow, 
which won Best Original Song. Done by a singer who is one of my best friends as well, Sanam Sitaram. Then obviously I did the theme song for Wide Eyed and we're working towards finding some form of post-production funding to do the music for Saloon. Do you have something that I could perhaps hear? Well, I have something better. I could probably play the theme that won the award in Shadow. Oh, I'd love that. Cool. Farewell, my friend. It's time to part. Couldn't fix that. Rudy Gravenstein, he's the, the sound guy behind it. And he and I worked on the composition while my friend Sanam worked on the lyrics and vocals. What is your advice to anybody that's wanting to get into filmmaking? Keep working at it and it will pay for rewards afterwards. Are there any specific channels or roads you think they should use? The only roads that you could go on is your own because nobody else is going to help you but yourself. That's in fact one of the things that Gavin Hood said to me when I met him. He says just keep making short films. Do what you need to do and you'll reap the rewards afterwards. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I enjoyed it so much and I'm so looking forward to Saloon and all that it's going to bring. Thank you.